This video is brought to you by LastPass. Hey guys, today I wanted to show you five great ways to make your Android more secure. As you already know, the best way to protect it from physical intruders is with a passcode, but there are more advanced methods to make sure that you are fully protected from hackers, malicious apps, if your phone gets stolen, and so forth. Now the first thing I recommend you do whenever you get a new smartphone is to install an app that will locate, lock, or erase it just in case you lose it. I personally use Find My Device by Google as it connects to all of my Android devices devices including watches and tablets as they are connected to the same Google account. It's very straightforward and the interface is attractive. It shows you a list of all your connected devices towards the top, the device location in the center, and options to interact with the phone wirelessly down below. They also have a website that you can use to do the same actions just in case you lose your phone and you don't have an extra one lying around. If you want a more advanced app that has more features, Where's My Droid is a great alternative. It uses trigger phrases that you can text to your lost device and certain actions will activate such as making it ring, sending you the GPS location, taking a picture with the front or back camera, remotely wiping it, and more. The next way to secure your device is to download a password manager app. LastPass is a great option as it lets you choose more secure passwords and relieves the trouble of remembering your passwords and anxiety around getting locked out of accounts. You can store all of your passwords from websites you've made an account with, add other important information such as driver's license, health insurance, Wi-Fi passwords, and so forth, and your personal info or profiles. This will help organize all of your vital information so you don't have to remember it, and your vault is encrypted with bank level AES 256-bit encryption and a fingerprint or password master login, so all of your information is secure. One of the big reasons as to why I use LastPass is it automatically enters your password for you when you want to log into an app or website. No typing required, so no one around you can see you typing out your password, and it's also one of the first apps to support Android Oreo's Autofill API. Pretty neat stuff and definitely recommend. If you enjoy surfing the web, you should consider installing a VPN or virtual private network app as your data is completely exposed and can easily be monitored and captured. There's plenty of VPN apps on the Play Store, but the one I use personally is XVPN. It also works with iOS, Windows, and Mac. With the click of a button, I can stay online anonymously as it hides my IP address and my browsing activity from my internet provider. Provides more security while I'm on a public Wi-Fi network as it encrypts my data and even allows me to change my region to explore websites, songs, and videos that I can't see in my country. It lets me easily connect to dozens of areas, but there's an option for the fastest server, and that's usually what I go with for the best connection speeds, and if for whatever reason the connection is too slow or it won't let me connect at all, I can choose to change the protocol. You also don't need to register to use the app. There's a live chat section for customer support, and overall, it's very easy to use. If you want an alternative, I also recommend Flinch VPN as it provides a bit more information on the server server you're connected to and is widely accepted as one of the most secure VPN implementations out there. Another great way to stay secured is by allowing Google to regularly check your device for malicious apps and allow you to remove them if any are found. This is mostly for those of you who download third-party apps outside of the Play Store. To enable it, just go into the settings, Google, Security, Google Play Protect, and enable scan device for security threats. It may seem like a simple fix, but most people don't even realize that it's an option. Lastly, if you really want to get secure, then you should lock your apps with a passcode or fingerprint. If your phone's manufacturer already provides one in the software, then I highly recommend you use that one as most of the app lockers on the Play Store can easily be uninstalled and they just layer their app over the apps you want to lock. Nonetheless, if you don't have that privilege, I would use App Locker. The app does exactly what it's meant to do with nothing more or less. It just locks whatever apps you'd like with a pattern, pin, or fingerprint. Well, that concludes the five great ways to secure your Android smartphone. Let me know in the comments what apps or methods you use to protect your phone. Leave a like if you enjoyed as it helps us out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!